What is up guys, it's your boy Tor, back again for another video. Today what we're doing is uh, I'm trying to exit, uh, up, up, up. I'm trying to exit big picture. So um, reason I'm doing so is because I'm going to actually show you guys how to connect your, your PS4 controller. Um, you guys were asking me on stream and I figured might as well get one of these out for you guys. I know there's some out there, I don't know if there's one for a PS4 one, but might as well just do one real quick, at least how I did it and what I feel like is best about it. And might as well just talk about BBS on Steam as a whole, right? Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I did to connect my PS4 controller. It's really simple, right? So this is the main page of Steam. Uh, well, actually, this would, I think, be the main page of Steam where your like, main page of the store is out. Uh, if you go to library, this is where your games are at. Basically, this is where you're going to have BBS and this is the list of games. Anyways, I have BBS open here, uh, but you could be anywhere in the, in, in the in the Steam like page, right? Uh, but if you go up here to the top right, there's and browse over this little like window, it says Big Picture Mode. If you click on that right there, you're gonna get this little cool animation, whatever. You're on this new little like, yeah, this uh, it's called Big Picture. Um, once you're here, this is where you're actually gonna go ahead and uh, connect your controller, right? Um, so click on Settings. Uh, from there. What you'll do is you'll go to controller settings and once you've done that you're going to get a list of like a couple of things i don't think it'll be nearly as much as what i'm showing you here but what what you see here is ps playstation configuration and I, i'm assuming it's probably the same for every other kind of controller like the switch i actually might need to try that one out because i have a switch right uh xbox i don't have but you can connect your xbox controller but if you have a playstation controller connect it there uh this box will be unchecked so once you uh, once you get to this page, obviously click on that on this button here. Let's let's click on it and see if anything happens. Nothing happens, but um, yeah, you click on that, and once that's done, uh, as long as you have your actual PlayStation controller connected to the computer through the USB, right? Um, USB, not USP. <laughs> yeah, USB. Once you get there, you've got that here. You can confirm. Boom, it's there. Great, your your controller's connected. You can actually move move the settings with your controller now because it's connected. But uh, the next step, this is the big, this is the important step because obviously now that you've got it connected, you want to play Bleach Brave Souls. And once you go to manage game, so you go to the the, the Bleach Brave Souls game, right? So this is continue playing, and then obviously you can find your games. Like I've got installed only Bleach Brave Souls at this point. Um, if you go here and then you go to the side bar right here, there's going to be a manage game. Click on manage game. Once you click on manage game, you go to, um, and let me actually move my webcam down here. Sorry about that. <laughs> but once you get to this place, right, you're going to go ahead and click on uh, controller configuration. Once you click on controller configuration, at this point, what you do is you just click on the, you have your controller, just move around, do whatever you want to do. But uh, as you see at the bottom right down here in this little bar, it says X for select, browse configs, export configs, done. Click on browse configs, which is a square. Uh, and then from there, as you see, it's going to take you to the community tab where, you know, players like you and I uh, uploaded their configurations that they went ahead and put on... Um, they went ahead and put on, on, on the game, right? For the Steam uh, controller settings, right? Uh, I ended up going with Li Hao. Li Hao here seems to have probably my favorite one of them all. Reason being is that he has all the, the strong attacks actually put in place. There's a few of them here. I don't know if either one of these two or one of these, I don't know if it was the one, top two, but I was trying a couple and some of them just didn't have the strong attacks actually in place. So uh, Li Hao, on the other hand, the one that has it titled as PS4 My Fave Set, is actually really good because um, X on the Dracul, <laughs> thank you for subscribing. X on the PS4 controller is going to be the NAD hit, NAD string. Square is going to be um, first strong attack. Triangle is second, and then circle is third. R1 is to sprint, and um, and then from there, Soul Bomb is R2. And of course, with the analog stick, you, stick, you can go ahead and move about the, the map. And honestly, it's really good. You click on X there, and then it's going to show you exactly what, what it is that you can do. 
or what it looks like. Once you get to this place, you go ahead and click on square one more time, just to apply configuration and boom, you're set to go. At that point, you're ready to play. So you can jump right in, hit play. I've already got the application pulled up, but yeah, you're basically good to play now and it's gonna have your, your actual uh, controller connected. Um, yeah, anyways, now that we're done and uh, have done that, I kind of want to uh, talk a little bit about the actual game itself on Steam and how I feel about it. It actually feels pretty goddamn smooth. Like, I don't see why I would even play on my phone when I'm streaming or when I'm at home and want to play on my computer. Like, there's just no other reason why. I mean, obviously, when I'm about out and about and doing my own thing and I want to casually be farming out, you know, when I'm not at, when I'm not at home, I'll probably play on my phone, but I actually really like playing on the computer. It gives you a whole new experience. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's not like, oh my God, the best game I've ever played in my life, but it's still decent and I actually like it. Um, quality is clean. For me, it's more about like, I'm going to get more quality. It's going to look more, uh, more appealing for the streams and videos. And uh, at this point, I feel like all I really need is a green screen. Green screen and then I can have this playing without any issue because right now with just a square at the bottom it looks a little off but a green screen would make it look better and uh, yeah man I really like it I really do like it um, one thing I'm st I think another thing I can also look into is the configurations that I that one set that I gave you that was from Li Hao I haven't like completely like gotten everything but it doesn't skip your special. The, the the configuration one that I was talking about doesn't skip your special. I don't know if that's because I might have just not clicked on something, but uh, from what I what I saw, it doesn't doesn't skip special. But that's the only thing. But again, that's something that I'm sure can be fixed with uh, just tweaking on some things, tweaking tweaking a few things around. But anyways, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool idea um, for anyone considering playing on Steam. I say give it a try, man. Give it a try. See what you think. Uh, quality of it all is amazing. Like I'm telling you, it feels so visually, uh, visually appealing to see on my on my end when I'm playing and also for the stream and the videos. It looks much better. So anyways, give it a try um, and uh, comment down below what you guys think about it. Are you going to be playing more on Steam or are you going to be playing on phone still? Um, yeah, let me know. I, I'm interested. In, uh, I'm interested to in know. Anyways, with that said, hope I helped one or two of you guys out there. And make sure to hit the like, subscribe if you are new. And if you guys didn't know, I stream every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're interested in seeing a stream. Uh, it's usually at uh, like 7 p.m. Pacific time. So see you there if I do. Anyways, take care. You have a great, great rest of your day.